Hello, welcome to Storytime. Today we're reading Monster Needs a Costume by Paul Sajak and Wendy Grieb. Monster needs a costume for his favorite time of year. It's nearly Halloween, he roared. The day is almost here. I said to Monster, do you know what kind you'd want to wear? An astronaut, a fireman, a giant barlot pair. He shook his head, I want to be a cowboy from the west and rope some desperados with a star upon my chest. He rushed to find his badge and boots, but needed more than that. We made his costume perfect with a 20 gallon hat. Monster was excited, so he wore it every day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But then he changed his mind when he discovered the ballet. I know the cowboy outfit was the costume that I chose, but now I'll be a dancer and I'll be nimble on my toes. Monster put a tutu on and danced around the kitchen. Perrette, Pelé, Tendo, and back to first position. He kept on dancing day and night until his feet were sore, but then he didn't want to be a dancer anymore. Monster took off his tutu and placed it in a drawer. He saw a ninja on TV and changed his mind once more. Now I'll be a ninja who is stealthy in the night, the sneaky kind that wears a mask and disappears from sight. Monster threw a shooto and some round kicks in the air, and then he tried to vanish, sliding underneath a chair. Like a ninja, he was quiet and pretended to be small, but spotting him was easy since he's nearly nine feet tall. Monster got discouraged and he turned into a grouch. He tossed the ninja costume and he sunk into the couch. Just then he dashed into his room. I know what I can do. And with a toothy grin he said, I thought of something new. He quickly put his costume on and gave a rocious roar. He hurtled down the steps and then he bound out the door. From up the street and down the block, Monster was a sight. The dancing cowboy ninja was the costume of the night. The end.